Welcome. In today's video, we will be discussing radioisotopes. Do you know what a radioisotope is? Well, stay tuned to find out more. A radioisotope is the breaking down of the atom's nucleus. Radioactive emissions consist of different types of radiation, such as alpha, beta, or gamma radiation. Rutherford's method of distinguishing between the different particles was based on how easily they would be absorbed. A perfect example of a radioisotope is iodine-131, which has a half-life of approximately 8 days and emits beta and gamma radiation. So what is beta and gamma radiation? Beta particles are fast-moving electrons which are able to penetrate further into objects and are easily absorbed and are able to be stopped by a sheet of aluminium. Beta radiation is able to leave your skin with burns and damage living tissue. Gamma radiation contains electromagnetic waves which are of much higher frequency and aren't made up of particles. As gamma radiation has a stronger penetrating power, it can only be stopped by a thick film of concrete or lead. It can also damage living tissue. How is iodine-131 used in the medicine industry? It can be used in the diagnostic stages and during treatment of certain diseases. Iodine-131 is most commonly used in health issues relating to thyroids, in particular cancer and hypothyroidism. Our thyroids act as the control for our metabolism, which can determine the energy we receive from what we've eaten. Small doses of iodine-131 are released into the body and assist in detecting diseases. Beta particles and gamma radiation attack the glands. What sort of benefits come with using iodine-131? Iodine-131 contributes to the treatment of both thyroid problems and cancers. It can help problematic thyroids function as normal. The best benefit that comes with iodine-131 is that it can get rid of cancerous tissue which can save lives. Now looking at some problems which may occur when using iodine-131. As we have mentioned before, it can damage our skin due to the beta particles and we should really avoid exposure to it. So in summary, there are both benefits and problems to using iodine-131. Even though it can be damaging to the body, we know that there are precautions that can be taken, such as wearing protective clothing and safety glasses. The benefit of the possibility that cancer can be cured definitely outweighs the problems and disadvantages. It helps with problems from thyroid issues to cancer. Thank you.